Hey guys, Lady Blue here. If you haven't seen part one yet, you should do so now so that you know what's going on. Alright, let's get to it. The headmistress gave him an odd look for a moment, then sat down at the teacher's desk. I see. Refrain from climbing on the counters from now on. Find your seat. Yes, headmistress. He went quickly to his desk, and there was an acute sense of relief coming off of him as he sat down. She spoke from then on, part in English and part in Czech. Good. Everyone get your notebooks and turn to a new page. We will be writing and translating sentences from English to Czech. For those who already know Czech, we will be translating sentences from Czech to English. One at a time, you will go up and write your sentence on the board and speak them. You may start. This is a pretty basic task, one we'd already done loads of times before. We knew the routine and set to work. We each had little booklets that were uh, Czech to English and English to Czech translation dictionary for us to use. Keep it in mind, because it's important. After a few students went up, one of the girls, Elena, wrote and spoke her sentences on the chalkboard. Very good, Elena, the headmistress congratulated. Her expression was a definition of false happiness. You know that smile where your eyes scrunch up a little bit and the smile is just a little bit too forced to the point it looks rubbery? Or it might have just been because of her rubbery wrinkled face. <clears throat> it's that, only the light you would usually see in the eyes from a true smile is not present. Just darkness. Ugh. Oh my gosh, jeez, she was terrifying even in praising us. Elena thanked her and as she sat down, I was called up. Please write your sentences and read them aloud. I did as ordered and wrote as she said. Turning to face the class, I noticed that most everyone else had their eyes turned down to their desks avoiding any eye contact with the headmistress. The only one looking at the chalkboard was one of the girls. She knew about as much Czech as I did, and her brow was wrinkled in confusion as she read the board. Had I misspelled something? Before I could look to double check, the headmistress prompted me to read them. Hoping I'd get it right, I spoke the sentence first in Czech. Jeditelka je velke zvizje. The headmistress's eyes nearly came free from her head. Elena actually snickered at her desk, and several of the boys just barely stopped their own laughter from being heard. Their amusement was very quickly cut off when the headmistress addressed Elena. Something amuses you, Elena? The sharpness of her tone peeked out from under the falsely cheerful expression. Elena immediately cleared her expression. No, headmistress. By now, I'd realized I'd made a mistake, but I was still not sure how. I looked at the headmistress in panic and confusion when she spoke my name. Yes? Do you know what you said? I... I said the headmistress is a big wig? Her expression hardened. I broke into a sweat. She's going to kill me. This woman is going to kill me and feed me to the pigs. And what does this word mean, big wig? I explained. A big wig is someone who is very important. Her expression of imminent death lifted, turning into a pleasantly surprised smile. Ah, it seems you translated it incorrectly. You said, the headmistress is a big animal. I don't think blood has ever rushed so quickly away from my face. Oh, I said, but it was like my soul was leaving my body in true anime fashion. <laughs> she excused me back to my desk, and I felt almost robotic making my way back to my seat. The class continued without further incident, and the headmistress left for the next class to start. As a side note, I was not trying to suck up to the headmistress by writing that sentence. It was an easy sentence to write, or so I thought, and it was at my level of learning at the time. If you recall, we were all terrified of her. I had no intention of offending her. That didn't stop Elena from laughing and thanking me for doing it once the headmistress was gone. Everyone was just grinning and laughing, and I just said it was an accident. It was the best accident ever, Elena laughed. Looking back, I have to agree. I hate you. Okay.